Okay, everybody, welcome back to Noah's Adventures on Legacy Farm, and welcome to my bird and slash wildlife habitat. This is it right here. Got a actually something to do today. Um, I got a pretty interesting combo: uh, trail mix, peanuts, scissors, and a drill, and a GoPro. So, in a wagon. So. Uh, it's kind of weird, but, uh, I am going to, uh, drill holes in some dead trees and things for, like, woodpeckers and stuff. See, like, I'm going to drill holes in this, because yesterday, wow, that's all gone. Yesterday, I put lots of seed in here. Not lots, but a good bit. A good bit for me. Um, but, I'm going to drill holes in all this stuff, so... Let's get right to it without talking anymore. Um, just got a. All you need for if you want to do this yourself, all you really need is a drill, a big drill bit, um, just whatever kind of fruit or nuts of your choice, and it's basically all you need. Uh, but my identification. <laughs> Uh, this tree is dead. Yeah, it's dead. So this tree right here will be a good candidate to drill some holes in. So, that's so what we're about to do right now. Start with the... Turn you this way a bit. Start with the uh, vine. Vine right here I put up. I'd like something bigger, but our bigger bits like this, um, they do not, uh, unfortunately do not have an attachment for a drill, so I just decided to do this one. Yeah, that's a really nice spot. Look at this. Wow. Really, really good. Look at that. And, uh, that's not so good, but that's okay. Let's set that down. And take the gloves off. And I'll just stuff that in the, in the holes that I drill. Just wherever they are. Okay, let's do the other side. This. Um, don't want to dr my drill into that one. I don't know why I wanted to knock it down because I could uh, use that really good for a seed like this. But I never had that idea. Um, I watch a lot of photographers sometimes on YouTube. And I got this idea from them. But it's really cool. I like it. Burn the tree. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Once the tree's burned inside. Let's see. Look at that. That's literally burning it. Look at the end. It's black. That's crazy. That smells so good though. Whoa. Probably drill like one or two right in this board. Nice. 
like it. I like doing this kind of stuff. Wow, this is nice. I love it. I absolutely love it. Wow. I do this a lot. <laughs> okay, I've drilled a ton of holes. Holes are like everywhere. Show you some new ones. There's some little stump here. <laughs> there. Pretty cool. Now let's start filling some of these up with food for the birds. Birds have already uh, been fussing at me, so let's get going. The first fruit in. Basically that. Pretty small. I'm gonna have to squish a few in. I hope y'all kind of get an inspiration um, to do this yourself. Um, at the end of this video, I will go through um, all my bird feeders, everything, like cost wise, probably that kind of stuff. Which will be cool. Um, so stay tuned to the end for yep. sure. Talk about the setup, see what I'm doing. I'm dropping half of it. Ground. Easy earned. <laughs> Using some natural cracks and stuff in the line to put some raisins and whatever else is in here. See, put some in there. Everything's going very well. <laughs> I dumped a lot of sea, um, berry mix, whatever, on the ground. The empty. Rest of it, um, put some on here. Got a bit creative, put some in there. Got very creative, drilled some holes in here and stuffed some in there. Um, now, oh yeah, <laughs> put some up there too. But, oh, there's a, oh, it's in the hatch. Oh, chickadees were getting pretty close to me, they're hungry. Um, but now, got planters, peanuts, planters, salt, as peanuts. So, Got a lot of these. The uh, 24 packs. So I don't know if I'm going to use all of those, but uh, I'll have to drill, drill more holes. More drill, more holes to um, have some to put the peanuts in. So that's what I'm about to do. Everybody. Don't you eat all these berries. Don't. Don't eat all berries. Yeah. Those berries? No, no. No, no. Don't do that. No, don't do that. <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> Go Tro came out here. Haven't used it in like ever since I started all this stuff. Uh, the truck came right here. <laughs> kind of weird, but, uh, put a card in it, like, twice. And that was, uh, like, two months ago, almost. But, yeah. 
Okay, so I got seven bags ready to pour. So let's start doing that. Put a couple here for whatever might enjoy them. Um, wait, these won't stay in there, but I'll try. Yeah, couple. I'm not very serious about this stuff, but I still would love. I love to do this. I think this is going to be like my hobby. I just, it's so fun. I mean, you're taking care of birds. Okay. Now it's time for me to talk about my feeding setup real quick, because everything's about to die. Huh. Real quick. Okay. Um, so today I used peanuts and just a fruit mix. You can probably get those at like any store. Like a trail mix. Whatever. Um, if you want to make this bird bath for yourself, just get a pan. Drill a screw, one of the screws with a, like a roofing screw that has the uh, seal on it. And screw it into a post. Um, this is a feeder from Walmart. Uh, you buy it for about 15 bucks, I think. This is a uh, one uh, that you can buy at Roses. Um, it's a really nice feeder, as far as I know. This is about eight bucks. Um, this one I don't remember at all. So uh, you can see, it's just a blue feeder, clear, um, just a normal bird uh, bird brick cage, and all these shepherd's hooks, shepherd's rods just can be bought from like Walmart or something um just the this is basically my feeding setup but um drill board or stick or anything like I did here onto a post and just knocking it in the ground the bird um, house you can buy like at Walmart or somewhere I fixed this one up as an old one is falling to pieces but I fixed it up and hopefully something will use it but electric line is just normal electric to keep the cows out so i hope you all enjoyed this tour so hope you all enjoyed please subscribe like and stay tuned for more content like this for more updates on the birds on the frogs on how they're doing on all this stuff and everyday life of on the farm on the farm um and, <coughs> and this is part of it um bird habitat i love it so please subscribe stay tuned for more like this so goodbye